Hi, I'm Jim with Unstuff Music, and I'm here today to do a demo of the Fender Player Plus Meteora HH. The Fender Player Plus Meteora HH finished here in Silverburst. The neck and finger board are maple with a modern C profile, 12 inch radius, 25 and a half inch scale, 22 medium jumbo frets, synthetic bone nut, and Fender Deluxe die cast sealed locking tuners. The body is alder with a gloss polyester finish, Fender Fireball humbuckers in both the neck and bridge, single master volume with S1 switch for coil splitting, independent tone controls, three-way toggle pickup selector switch, and two-point synchronized tremolo bridge with brushed steel block saddles. Finally, this guitar comes set up with 9 to 46 gauge strings and includes a gig bag from Fender. Get yours today at instuffmusic.com and thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit like, leave a comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Okay, now we're back after the specs on the guitar. Before we begin today, let's take a quick look at the amp settings and how we're recording. I'm going into a Fender a Reissue Deluxe Reverb. I have the volume between four and five, the treble a touch south of, or I'm sorry, a touch north of five. The bass a touch south of five, a little reverb from the amp between two and three, into the aux with a 212 twin, twin reverb setting, a 57 and a 121 on the cab with a little bit of room mic mixed in. Straight into Pro Tools, no sweetening. Here we go. This is the new from Fender, the Player Plus Meteora, uh, the two humbucker configuration. And we have an S1 switch in the volume, as I mentioned in the specs, which splits the pickups into single coil mode. So every guitar you heard in the intro uh, was this guitar. So on that rhythm clean guitar, I had just a single coil thing going. And uh, you saw me play at the top. I was kind of mixing it up a little bit with some overdrive sounds. Um, so let's hear it. Let's start in the neck. Everything on 10, humbucker mode. Here we go. So the way the controls are laid out on those guitars, you have a master volume with your S1, and then you have the tone control for the neck and the tone control back here for the bridge. So the nice thing about the way these are positioned is you can easily violin, you know, with where this is. Kind of like, um, it's about where it would be for a Strat or a Tele. Um, so it's really convenient. All right, let's go to the middle. Humbucker mode. So usually what I do here is I'm going to roll the tone on the bridge down a little bit and just take some of that high end off. Maybe roll the volume back a little because I do have the amp like right on the edge of breakup. I'll go back to the bridge, or um, sorry, the neck for a moment. These tone controls are pretty uh, drastic, so. All right, let's go to the bridge, still in humbucker mode. Tone off a bit. All 
All right, here we go with the single coil mode. Here is the neck. Here's the middle. Both tones are on 10. So what I was doing in the intro was something like this with a little bit of um, a very old boss dimension C. So if you put a little compressor pedal on there, fatten it up a little bit. Here's the bridge. Compressor off. So I like to keep a compressor pedal uh, handy on my board for jumping back and forth between humbucker and single coil sounds for just this reason. You can gain match and you can also just beef up your single coil sound a little bit. So cool thing on the bridge is if you put some modulation on. maybe some delay. So let's get some drive sounds happening. I'm using a protein from Brown Amplification, which is a great overdrive pedal. It's kind of like uh, King of Tone on the left, Nobles ODR on the right. Here's a light gain sound in the neck. In humbucker mode. free. Uh, okay, let's hear the neck. No, the middle. Let's take some of that reverb out. S1 switch engaged. Take some of that high end off, tone of the bridge back. All right, let's go to the bridge with a little higher gain sound. single coil engaged, so when you engage your single coil, you're going to get a little bit of noise, but it's not terrible. Mm -hmm. 
So if you want a little, you know, thinner sound. Kind of like the. Back to humbucker mode. Okay, that was the Fender Player Plus Meteor HH.